So before I introduce today's speaker, I just want to share a brief background on advanced clinical training for our first timers. ACT is a leading online training and certification provider in the healthcare industry. And our goal is to provide a quality education that prepares our students to excel in the competitive healthcare landscape. We offer simulation-based instructor-led training to deliver the best learning experience possible and students can learn in an interactive asynchronous format to gain skills necessary to enter any entry-level healthcare position in as little as eight to 12 weeks while earning nationally accredited certifications. So we hope that you continue to consider us to support you in your pre-health journey. And with that, I would like to hand it off to our speaker, Jessica, to kick off today's presentation. Thank you so much, Jenny, for the introduction. So we'll just jump right in today. So on our agenda, we're offering insights and resources available to ACT students and alumni to be able to enhance the skill set for a successful professional journey. We'll be covering an introduction to ACT's career development department, benefits, key components, why investing in yourself is important, and the services and resources that we offer. So it will be an interactive webinar and workshop. So we'll be asking questions and taking polls throughout this webinar. So get ready. With that being said, a big welcome to everyone that was able to join us today. We're super excited to have you all here. So whether you're a student exploring potential career paths or alumni seeking to advance your professional journey, we have a range of resources to support you in every step of the way. So the Career Resources Department is dedicated to supporting individuals in their professional growth, advancement, and providing a range of resources, services, and guidance tailored to their unique needs. When it comes to navigating the landscape of career development, it can be daunting regardless of the stage as a student or alumni, whether you're a recent high school graduate pre-med student, an adult learner, or someone that's committed to continuous education. It's often challenging to know the necessary steps, prioritize your goals, and chart your course forward. We do recognize the importance of clarity and understanding your path and identity, but we're dedicated to providing the guidance and support needed to launch you towards your aspirations, helping you gain insights into your unique journey and empowering you to take confident strides towards your professional goals. So with that, our mission in the Career Development Department is to empower individuals to navigate their career journeys with confidence, resilience, purpose throughout their journey with resources and opportunities. For our vision, it's to cultivate a dynamic and inclusive community where every individual can unlock their full potential pursue fulfilling careers and contribute meaningfully to their workforce. So who am I and what is my background? Uh, my name is Jessica Angelescu. I'm career and professional development advisor here at ACT. My expertise encompasses 13 years in talent acquisition, recruitment and human resources uh, with a recent pivot last year in a career and professional development. I'm very passionate about healthcare, creating strategies and resources, understanding market insights, crafting personalized guidance and strategic career plans and ensuring your success as a student or alumni in your development. Um, I like to bring a holistic approach to essentially bridge the gap between uh, talent acquisition, fostering growth and contributing to successful professional journeys. So let's kick things off with a fun question. Uh, in the chat box, uh, put in what your dream job or career goal is. And we'll give everybody a couple minutes to input their answers. Physician assistant, excellent. Surgeon, RN, yes. We have lots of variety going on here. PA, perfect. CEO of a healthcare organization, get it girl, yes, RN. 
Oh, I love this. Very good. Very good. Definitely y'all took a good first step in uh, obtaining experience and an education. That's wonderful. Thank you all for sharing. All right, so what is career counseling and development and what are the types? So career development is essentially the proactive lifelong process of finding your footing and advancing your career path. It's an intentional approach to creating a meaningful career that includes uh, setting long-term goals, exploring professional developments, opportunities, and gaining new experience. With that, we have two types of development. We have formal and informal. Formal is uh, really any type of short-term training, education, certifications, workshops, seminars that can assist you in building specific skill sets uh, for the job or industry that you're interested in. When we look at informal, this includes mentorship opportunities, networking, events, uh, online courses, internships, and voluntary experiences. So let's take a poll. We'll give Janie just a moment to get that poll up, but uh, let us know which type of development you have experienced, whether it's formal or informal. Formal. All right. Okay, so it looks like we have about 67% of you with formal and 33% with informal, which is um, typical considering the career paths and the education paths that everyone um, in this call is on, you know, going towards that PA, um, RN, surgeon. Um, so excellent. All right. So when we look more into uh, career development, uh, we really have a set of stages. Um, so let's take a dive in and, and kind of look at those. Um, so overall, we have self-assessment, goal setting, action planning, implementation, and refinement. So what does that mean? So self-assessment really evaluates your strengths, your weaknesses, uh, skills, personality type, interests, and values. And by understanding these, it really helps you to understand yourself, your fit, um, as well as the various career paths that align. When we're looking at goal, set, goal setting, uh, using your self-assessment uh, really assists you in creating the goals, which is definitely critical to your career development. Action planning uh, involves breaking down your aspirations into manageable, achievable tasks and establishing a timeline uh, for completing them. Implementation is where you take your action plan and put it into place. Uh, this is where you can you know, create a calendar, block off time uh, each day to really focus on your goals, track your progress, but being sure to celebrate every win. Uh, I know that um, career development can be overwhelming, especially if it's your first time in doing so. Um, so just remember to celebrate each win that you have, no matter how small. Um, and then when we're looking at refinement, this is the process that typically goes more smoothly over time. Uh, it involves regularly assessing your goals and plans and progress. Um, with that, you can do regular reflection, you can ask for feedback, and then just really staying adaptable and flexible if things go off course or the timeline needs to be longer or shorter, kind of depending on you know where you're at in your life, what you have going on. So again, let's take a quick poll uh, to see where our audience is at currently in their development journey.
All right. Very good. All right, so it's looking about 10% in self-assessment, 50% uh, action planning, 30% implementation, and 10% in refinement. So a lot of you are in that stage where, uh, you know, you're really uh, breaking the, the goals that you have into daily, weekly, monthly steps and really focusing on, you know, how you're going to track your progress and uh, like I said before, celebrating your wins. Wonderful. So within our career development department, we have five key components that we really focus on. We have career counseling and advising, job search assistance, skills assessment and development, professional development and engagement and partnerships. So let's take a uh, take a look at what each means for you all. So we do offer support for career exploration and decision making through one on one sessions. And this is really where we dive into your goals, challenges, any obstacles or roadblocks uh, that you may be facing. This allows us to really tailor our approach um, so that we can be able to address your unique needs effectively. Um, by working with uh, you, we strive to overcome those roadblocks and really provide you guidance that aligns with your aspirations, um, allowing clarity and, and confidence um, in yourself, in your decision as you navigate your career journey. We also provide comprehensive resources and personalized placement assistance to support effective job hunting uh, strategies um, and plans. Uh, with our job placement assistance, we do uh, curate a list of seven to 10 job openings in your location, along with available contact information um, and facilitating that outreach. In this, we found that this approach really empowers you to effectively connect with potential employers, um, take on relevant opportunities that are really tailored to what you're looking for in an employer, your location and also enhancing uh, prospects for job placement. Assessment uh, really involves uh, evaluating your skills followed by tailored training resource provision to enhance your employability. These uh, tools serve for identifying areas of improvement, particularly in soft skills um, like communication, teamwork, uh, time management and adaptability. And uh, by really looking at where the opportunities are, we can pinpoint specific areas that may require additional development um, and help you identify what tools, support, and resources you need as an individual to, um, to succeed. We also provide um, an array of professional development webinars and events such as this one uh, crafted to cater the evolving needs of our students and alumni. Um, and these sessions really offer knowledge to enhance uh, your skills and really stay ahead of the industry trends. Um, we offer invaluable networking opportunities, uh, enabling you all to connect with your peers and industry experts. Um, so really, whether you're looking to, you know, sharpen your expertise, create connections, explore new av avenues for growth, uh, our webinars and events are definitely tailored to empower you on your journey. At ACT, uh, we do prioritize building and nurturing solid relationships with employees uh, to assist with job placements, externships, and experimental learning opportunities. Uh, we really aim to provide um, our students and alumni with hands-on experience, uh, enhancing their skill sets, and just really overall support for that successful job placement. We really uh, feel like our proactive approach ensures that you can access opportunities that align with the career goals, ultimately empowering you to thrive. So. Let's take another quick poll. Uh, what aspects of your career journey do you find most challenging?
All right. So it looks like no one selected self-assessment or goal setting. Uh, so I assume you are all have those and are doing wonderful creating those. Just kidding. Um, all right. So resume and cover letters about 33%. Uh, job search strategies at 56%, networking 44 and communication 22%. Um, this is kind of what I was expecting. Um, job search strategies and kind of creating that plan of action can be daunting, but um, here at ACT, we do have ways to, you know, provide you with the support and assistance to kind of navigate um, the job market, the trends. Um, also with networking and communication, we have some great, great resources um, from industry experts on, um, you know, how to do that effectively, what it means. Um, so excellent. Thank you all for your input. All right. So you may be asking yourself, why is career development uh, for students and alumni beneficial for your professional journeys? So when reviewing the data and conducting research, we really found the six top reasons that career development can benefits can benefit you all. Those are clarity, growth, connectedness, informed decision making, balance, and satisfaction. So let's uh, take a peek into those uh, just briefly. So we do offer insights into various career paths, industries, and job roles within healthcare. Uh, this allows you to better understand your options uh, through the information and resources, allowing you to make well-informed decisions that do align with your interests and goals. Uh, utilizing a connected approach entails integrating your personal interests, values, skills, and long-term goals uh, into your career exploration. Uh, through the holistic approach exam, we facilitate meaningful connections with industry professionals, employers, and peers. And this really allows us to expand our networks and opportunities. Uh, one thing that I can say that I've noticed uh, more recently in the, the past year and kind of growing over the years, especially since COVID, is that um, connected approach, that networking, LinkedIn um, you know, it's uh, a lot of job placements are through referrals or word of mouth. So it's really essential to really put yourself out there um, and connect with individuals uh, that are um, having similar career interests. When we're looking at balance, uh, this really encompasses prioritizing your fulfillment alongside your success. Um, our offerings cater to diverse needs, whether pursuing passions, achieving work-life balance or advancing in your career. When we look at clarity, it's pivotal to uh, define your career goals and aspirations to essentially provide you with a clear direction and purpose within your career journey. Uh, this involves, you know, really understanding your strengths, interests, values, and, you know, what your goal is, what is the outcome. With clarity, uh, you can definitely confidently navigate your decisions uh, regardless of the profession, leveraging your newfound uh, confidence to pursue opportunities that are aligned with your vision. And by doing this, uh, you can make better informed choices, set your goals, and embark on a path that really leads to fulfillment and success in your career. Looking at growth, um, this can be done through skill building and learning opportunities, and it really just refers to the process of personal and professional development that's achieved by acquiring new skills, knowledge, and experiences. Um, this is attained through various educational initiatives, training programs, workshops, hands-on experiences that are designed um, to enhance your capabilities and your experience. And by actively engaging in these activities and embracing learning opportunities, you can expand your competencies, uh, be better, um, be better off at adapting and being flexible to the changing environments and really progress towards your goals. Looking at satisfaction through the pursuit of enhancing, <coughs> excuse me, overall fulfillment in your career journey really entails um, actively seeking and creating opportunities 
that do align uh, with who you are and what you're looking for in your career. Uh, this may be uh, identifying meaningful work, nurturing uh, relationships, growth opportunities, balancing your personal and professional life. But ultimately, it's about creating a career path that is uh, rewarding for you, that brings joy, satisfaction, and really a sense of uh, accomplishment. So let's take a poll. What aspect of your career journey resonates most with you at this point in your journey? You can go ahead and uh, type it in. All right. So with that question, it's really based around these um, identifying factors of the, the benefits. So um, are you more seeking clarity, growth, connections, informed decision making, balance or satisfaction? Okay, I'm going to be having a technical issue here. That's okay. All right, we'll just go ahead and move on to the next. So investing in your career development, we have continuous growth and learning, advancement opportunities, increased job satisfaction, adaptability and resilience, increased earning potential, and personal fulfillment and well-being. So investing in your career is definitely crucial, crucial for your growth um, and can offer benefits that can impact your long-term success and satisfaction. So by taking on continuous learning and in skill enhancement, you're really updating yourself with the industry trends, technological advances, and the best practices. Um, investing in your in your ongoing education and training can really expand your knowledge base, broaden your skill set, and allow you to remain uh, competitive in the market. Investing in yourself can also increase your chances of advancing uh, within your current organization or transitioning into higher level positions uh, by acquiring the new skills, gaining more relevant experience and really just position yourself as a valuable asset to employers, um, but can also open doors to new career opportunities. Engaging in career development activities that align with your interests, values, and long-term goals can lead to greater job satisfaction, fulfillment, and make you more likely to feel motivated and keep engaged. By being adaptable and resilient, uh, this helps you navigate changing job market and industry um, developments. You become better equipped to you know, take on the challenges, overcome them, embrace the change, and really thrive in the environment uh, by continuously refining your skills, expanding your knowledge, and fostering a growth mindset. Investing in yourself can directly impact your earning potential by enhancing your market ability and value as a professional. So as you acquire new skills, gain that experience, uh, you know, you may qualify for higher paying position, um, more opportunity to negotiate, uh, which ultimately increases your earning potential. And additionally, you know, Ensure you're allocating your time to professional success, 
Um, this can contribute to uh, your overall well-being, well-being and per personal fulfillment. Um, pursuing a career that allows you to be more purposeful and satisfied uh, really can um, give you a sense of accomplishment in your career um, that's very, very rewarding. So overall, you know, commuting, uh, committing to your career development is essential for achieving long-term success and uh, can definitely unlock new opportunities um, and assist you in realizing your full potential. So taking a look at these uh, options, um, let's take a quick poll um, on what motivates you the most to invest in yourself in your career growth. All right, we, we're getting a variety of choices here. All right, <clears throat> so looks like continuous learning and growth. We have 33%, advancement opportunities was 50%, increased job satisfaction was at 17 as well as adaptability and resilience at 17. Increased earning potential, uh, 67%, and then 33% of personal fulfillment and well-being. Uh, definitely expected, um, you know, the increased earning potential to be the, the top result. You know, we all have to work um, and earn money to support ourselves and our families, as well as, you know, our continuous career development. So, excellent. All right. So, uh, I bet you're asking yourself what specific resources uh, does the career development department at ACT offer? So, let's jump in. So, we offer students and alumni a robust self-paced virtual course specific for career development that uh, allows you all to easily digest the topics um, by way of infographics, tips and tricks, templates, links, and other additional resources uh, to really enhance your learning. Um, within uh, this virtual course, um, the modules include topics like uh, crafting compelling resumes, cover letters, personal brands, and interviewing, uh, which is um, the four topics that I hear about most, um, you know, knowing what it means and kind of diving into um, how it works. And uh, these aspects are, you know, really essential in making a positive impression on employers and really equips you with the um, being able to showcase your skills and experiences to really set yourself apart in the job market. We've also uh, created our own job board uh, tailored to the programs that we train. We also offer job placement assistance, with, which I mentioned previously, that provides um, opportunities for students and alumni to connect uh, with job openings. So, you know, whether you're seeking internship, entry level, career advancement, you know, our platform does offer um, a variety of options. So we try to keep you informed and updated with the latest trends and insights through um, our various articles, publications, and blog, blog post collection. Uh, from industry news to career advice, um, our content really provides valuable resources for you to enhance your knowledge uh, and inform you of um, any developments. Networking, uh, definitely, again, critical to expanding your professional circle and uncovering new opportunities uh, through our networking events, community, pre-health mentors, and webinars, you can connect um, 
with industry professionals, alumni, peers, really, you know, opening the doors to opportunities for mentorships, uh, externships, collaborations um, that can also assist you in gaining real world experience and building valuable connections. We do advise you to use our one-on-one -on -one guidance, coaching, and counseling uh, sessions for personalized support and advice. Um, if you're having trouble, you know, clarifying your career goals, refining your job search strategies, and really just addressing any challenges uh, that you may encounter. So let's take a poll. What aspect of your career development um, are you most excited about to explore. You could just type it in uh, the chat box. Right. Jenny, I'm unable to see the, the answers for this. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's not showing up, but I do see some responses around job placement assistance, <clears throat> excuse me, um, resume guidance and externship, job placements, externship. So it looks like we have a lot of excitement around um, externship placements and job opportunities. Yes, yes. And more to come uh, in regards to, you know, those specific topics um, in our next slide, where we really go through the course module that I've created uh, for the students and alumni. So we will just pop on over to uh, dig into the learning mod uh, learning module to really explore what it offers. So to start off your journey, uh, we've crafted a welcome chapter, uh, really introduces career development, along with links and resources to uh, kickstart your progress. Um, our goal setting and assessment chapter is really designed to guide you through uh, and define and refine your career objectives, um, aligning your skills, interests, and aspirations to create that career path um, that you're looking uh, to go into. In this chapter, it uh, includes career readiness assessments, how to build an action plan and strategies to help you kind of kickstart that journey. We do offer expert guidance resources, templates and checklists for crafting resumes and cover, lo cover letters that uh, effectively highlight your qualifications, experiences and achievements. Um, we, we've we taken time to break down the resume into sections or lessons um, and provide you with uh, examples of uh, what each means, um, how to word that part of the resume, uh, just really allowing you to optimize um, your experience on this. And, you know, with that, we aim to increase your chances of, you know, securing interviews and um, job opportunities. With our interview chapter, uh, you can confidently prepare for interviews um, by uh, taking a look at the breakdown of the types of interviews, common interview questions, professionalism during interviews, how to prepare and research uh, for the interview, um, as well as employers. We have a section on mock interviews and uh, additional strategies to help you effectively communicate uh, your skills and experience during that interview. We also offer a dedicated chapter focused on enhancing your networking and communication skills. Um, 
by providing, you know, very tailored resources that are specific to, uh, you know, allied health um, in the phase that you're at uh, in your career path. And with that, our, our goal is to really equip you with the tools and strategies necessary to build professional connections, foster those relationships, and then, you know, ultimately assist you with uh, advancing your career. Um, within this chapter, uh, we really focus on providing guidance um, on effective communication with employers. And it also includes a list of, you know, do's and don'ts. Um, we offer LinkedIn specific tips for networking and strategies to build uh, that strong uh, professional network that we previously talked about. And then within our job placement assistance uh, and strategies lesson, it's really designed to provide you with the essential knowledge and skills needed to uh, successfully na navigate the job market. Um, in this chapter, we cover uh, the most successful types of job boards uh, specific to you all for allied health, um, various job search methods, common job titles to really assist and aid you in your search. We also explore the significant role of technology um, and how it plays into the job search process. Uh, you know, over the years, again, especially since COVID, you know, there have been a, a lot of new companies and resources and websites to um, assist you in automatically applying to jobs and things of that nature. So, you know, you definitely want to kind of research um, the resources available to assist you so it doesn't seem uh, so overwhelming. And uh, additionally, the the Chapter includes um, a review of job offers, um, a checklist, negotiation techniques, and decision making to uh, really support you throughout this part of um, the process. When we look at our professional development chapter, uh, we do include resources designed to enhance your skills, broaden your knowledge, um, maintain competitiveness in the job market, uh, overviewing uh, topics like emotional intelligence, professionalism, communication, conflict resolution, relationship building, and um, being culturally aware. We also have a chapter that allows you to understand the job market and the trends better. Uh, within this chapter, we cover emerging trends, um, impact of technology on the healthcare space, industry-specific information, and leveraging industry resources. In our mentorship, internship, and externship um, chapter, you can really unlock your full potential um, by reviewing um, the insights uh, that we offer to really prepare your career growth and development. Uh, this lesson covers an overview of each um, opportunity, meaning it has an overview of the mentorship, internship and externship. Um, and it also goes through um, stacking credentials to really enhance um, you as a professional um, and your growth. And then we have a chapter for, you know, staying connected, continuing to grow um, with our uh, alumni chapter that reviews, you know, career advancement planning, leadership, transitioning, uh, being a lifelong learner, your well-being, and uh, self-reflection, which is uh, aimed to support you in your ongoing development long after uh, graduation. So let's take a poll. Uh, which aspect um, of the learning module do you feel uh, is going to be most helpful for you in your job search? So is it the goal setting and assessments? Is it the market industry trends, alumni services, professional development? I think I have an idea of what responses will be, but I'm always up for a surprise. All right, Jeannie, would you mind sharing again? 
uh, which uh, answers we have coming in. Yeah, sure. It looks like we have interest in professional development and mentorship, um, resume interviewing, personal brand support, job placement assistance, and really refining their cover letters and resume. Yes, absolutely. That's that's kind of where um, a lot of it really happens. Um, and uh, very important um, chapters and modules and lessons uh, to really dive into and, and get to know each chapter and each lesson and reviewing over the information. So wonderful, thank you. All right, so when and how uh, do you, you all reach out to career development? So uh, you can submit a, a Zendesk ticket um, this can be found in our um, CD course, um, in the welcome chapter, all over the place. Um, and once you kind of bring up the, the ticket uh, to create it, it goes through, you know, various aspects of, you know, the program, what types of services you're seeking. Uh, you can also, um, in chapter one, go through and schedule one-on-ones or coaching sessions. Most importantly, um, we do ask that once you are 80% of your program um, of completion is when you would reach out to career development. Um, and we ask that you wait until the 80% mark to, um, to really be able to focus on the requirements for the program. Um, and focusing on the curriculum and the assessments and the assignments and deadlines um, and just really ensuring that you're able to, you know, complete your program and um, strive for that completion and graduation. We don't want to throw too much information at you um, from career development and your program. Uh, that can be very overwhelming for students. I've done it. I do not recommend, um, but yeah. All right, so uh, we hope this session has provided you with valuable insights into the world of career development and really how it can impact your journey. Um, throughout the lesson, we have explored understanding critical components of successful career planning, the importance and benefits of investing in yourself and leveraging the resources available. Uh, but do remember that by investing in yourself, you're also investing in your future success, improving patient care and advancing healthcare. So I did want to take another quick moment to thank you all once again for your participation and attendance. We definitely look forward to accompanying you on your path to success. Uh, remember, as you embark on your journey, we encourage you to remain proactive, resilient, and open to new opportunities. And be sure to take advantage of the services offered and always appreciate the power of continuous learning and growth. If you have any specific or further questions um, or would like to explore our services more in detail, do not uh, re uh, hesitate to um, get into contact with us. So now we'll do, um, let's go into questions that the audience may have. Thanks so much, Jessica, for that very informative presentation. We do have one question that came in and it's around really bridging the gap between what the um, job requirements are and just your personal immediate need. And the question is when I'm looking for jobs online, some organizations require one year of working experience as a medical assistant, but I want a job ASAP. What are your recommendations and what should I do? That's an excellent question. And I get this question a lot. And the key that I have found to success with this specific part of the, um, the job search is utilizing the filters that are available to you when you're looking for jobs on various platforms. 
So um, examples would be if you're going into Glassdoor or LinkedIn or Indeed, there is a filter that says um, education level, experience level. What you really want to focus on if you do not have that experience is ensuring that you select um, no experience required or internship options or also, um, let's see, intern, uh, no experience, um, entry level, I believe is another one, just thinking of the different options on the various platforms right off uh, the top of my head. But that <clears throat> can really assist and guide you in what positions to apply for. Because I, I do agree um, with uh, this participant, you know, uh, a lot of the MA, um, specific to the MA, uh, job openings do require experience, but when you're filtering down the opportunities that you're looking at, this can make it less cumbersome um, and overwhelming for you and allow uh, a specific guide to know which jobs to apply for. Great. Thank you so much, Jessica. Absolutely. Um, I do not see any additional questions in the chat. So again, would like to thank everyone for attending our session today. We have another webinar scheduled later this week on Friday around wellness for the modern pre-health students. And we hope to see all of you there. It is scheduled for 5 p.m. So if you have time, please register and join us for this informative session. Once again, thank you, Jessica, for the wealth of knowledge you have shared. And we hope to see you all next time. Have a good day. Bye, everyone. Thank you.